Right, okay. So I started doing these, but um, I was not doing a good job. Right, so I finished learning CLL this morning. Still getting my recognition done, but should be getting faster at 2x2 two two soon. So my layer for this cell is going to be this connecting to here. And then finish blue by putting this one in. And then lastly like that. And then we've got this H case. Which goes like this. So I'm going to move this over here so when I connect these, this isn't affected. And then I'm going to do an R prime, U2 R prime, and that will finish this. And then we've just got the standard algorithm for CLL. So I'm going to do an R prime U2 R F2 R2. That was a pretty slow layer, but it did stop me from getting the diagonal swap. And then that was the yellow, which I didn't really explain, but oh well. So there's not much good I can do. I guess I can do something like this. But that was a very inefficient layer. And I've got this H case, so I guess it's not that bad. But I didn't really see a lot to do. As you can tell, I do need to work on my layer building because I'm really not going to. Okay, so I'm, I think I'm going to have an L case here, I think. I think if you use uh, your R prime, when you have these other three on top, you get an L case. No, you don't. See, I, that's another thing I need to work on, is, um, this. And, uh, I just use 290 soon for this, because that's fine for me. So there is two move diagonals, so I'll just cancel this into it and give myself this so I don't have to try and figure out what the opposite of this in case is. And so, hmm, might have to, hmm, like this. And this isn't a, this is kind of tube gen, but it has a rotation, so. That was net. So it goes like this, and then I just insert it. But I've done it from the wrong place. Right, excuse this quickly. Can I like? Twist my corners into the nah, I can't. Okay, well. So, obviously, that's a case I need to work on. 
anyway this case is a uh, I got corn toast but hmm. um let's just move on So, gonna do white like that and get this six move case here, which is very nice. Doesn't need much explaining. green here and I'm gonna put this over here and do an L prime U2 L prime and I'll get this which is one of my favorite cases right now that was off <laughs> yeah UF but yeah I really like that This one in here, and then we got another zoom case, and um, this one, these two are the opposites, and so I do like this, and then like that. I'm gonna to have to one look this because this is two gen solution because it's literally just a one move layer and then a CLO like that. That would be like a one or, or maybe sub one if I did it fast enough. Okay, so if I insert this. I'm going to have to um, get that so I don't get diagonal swap on an anti zoom case. And I recognise from me here, and it's just anti zoom. That's nice. I'm going to do three more. So my layer is like this, and then actually I got another skip, and I locked there. But you know, just a G perm. Let me do that again. But I don't even know what I did now. Oh well. I can insert this and have a diagonal swap. And then I'll do this. Because I don't know the opposites for this case. And then since these two are the same and these two are opposite. I'll just do like this. Okay, so I can do something like this to combine them, and then I could just do something weird like that, which would make the layer. And then I have this CLO, which I've done from the wrong angle. As 
usual. Uh, this is very bad. Um, um, it was the uh, it was. Let me. So it was this case. And you do, you do it from here. Okay, I do know it. Uh, I think we're just So I'm gonna have to practice these, and then I should be getting better in features. That's nice.